If Trump attempts to weaponize the justice system against his political opponents with Matt Gates at the helm, we could see incoming Senator Adam Schiff as our shadow attorney general, arguing against replacing our independent prosecutors with Trump loyalists. If Trump seeks to eliminate the Department of Education, Congresswoman Johanna Hayes, a former Teacher of the Year, could step up as shadow education secretary to loudly defend public education in the United States. If Trump orders Marco Rubio to hand Ukraine and much of Eastern Europe to Russian President Vladimir Putin, Congressman Greg Meeks, as Shadow Secretary of State, could be a strong voice in support of maintaining international relationships and protecting democracy at home and abroad. Senator Michael Bennett as Shadow Treasury Secretary, and Congresswoman Susan Del Bene as Shadow Commerce Secretary could help ensure the middle class and small businesses have a voice in government and call out Trump's proposed tax cuts for billionaires and corporations. As Shadow Defense Secretary, Congressman Adam Smith, a great representative for the people of Washington and not a Fox News host, could counter Trump's threat to use military force against his political opponents and work to ensure that the Department of Defense stays loyal to the Constitution and not some wannabe dictator. And Senator Tammy Duckworth could argue against cuts to the Department of Veterans Affairs that would delay the benefits and care our service members have so rightly earned. If Trump hands over the EPA to big oil ally Lee Zeldin, we could see Congresswoman Kathy Castor pushing back for environmental protection and conservation to protect the air we breathe and the water we drink. And if Trump pushes to ban abortion nationwide, Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro could step in as Shadow Secretary of Health and Human Services to defend women's right to choose and argue against the gutting of Medicare by Trump and his cronies. Mr. Speaker, new times require new solutions. The Shadow Cabinet isn't just about opposing extreme MAGA attacks on our government. It's also about making clear what we stand for, not just what we're against. 